Hey you guys, so today I thought we could do a little kind of get ready with me first impressions. I have a bunch of products that I either haven't tried yet or I've tried only like a couple times so they're still pretty fresh. I also thought I would tell you guys the proposal story because a few of you have been asking me for it. I did do a YouTube live uh, sometime last week but I took it down because I'm just that kind of bitch. So I thought I would tell you guys the whole uh, shebang. All right, I have my skin prepped already. I'm gonna be trying out the Joe Fresh Daily Boost Fluid Foundation in shade Bisque. It looks like a really good shade match actually, so I'm hoping that it'll be perfect. And I'm just gonna apply that with a beauty blender. Ooh, lovely, okay. Shade match looks good. So for those of you that don't know yet, I got engaged. Basically what happened was a few weeks ago, Matt, my boyfriend, fiance now. He was like, why don't we go to the island, Vancouver Island. He was like, let's just invite a bunch of people. It'll be like a super chill weekend. We'll just like hang out in the sunshine and whatever. And I was like, is that my boyfriend saying this? Just to give you a quick synopsis of Matt as a person, he is perhaps one of the most antisocial people I've ever met in my life. And when he does have a day, wow, this foundation is beautiful. When he does have a day where he's like, okay, yeah, sure, I'll go out and socialize with you. It's kind of like we go, he's dreading it the entire time, before, during, after. And he's the first person to be like, all right, it's been like 15 minutes, let's get the fuck out of here. So when he brought this up, I was kind of like, hmm, that's really weird, but whatever. I was like, great, sounds amazing, can't wait, let's do it. So he found this Airbnb and it was really perfect the way that he did it because he was like, oh, why don't you invite this person? Oh, why don't you invite that person? Oh, why don't you invite this person? And it, he basically made me coordinate all these people coming. So in my mind, I didn't really think that anything was going on other than that I was surprised that he wanted to do this. So we invited Christy, Raw Beauty Christy, and her husband, Zach. We invited Jamie Page and David. David wasn't able to come. And then we invited Alana and her boyfriend, Dan. And then we also had a couple that you guys won't know. Their names are Sasha and Danielle. They're friends of Matt's and now mine. I'm just gonna be using the CoverGirl Vitalist Healthy Concealer. So we invited all these couples and we planned this all out. And at one point, Jamie wasn't going to come out because the flights were really expensive. So I guess Matt messaged her privately and was like, you have to come out. Like, I'm gonna be proposing, blah, blah, blah. So then Jamie called me like immediately and was like, just kidding, it's fine. Like I can I can book the flight on points and I'm gonna come out and blah, blah, blah. So, um, so we booked her flight, she came out. And then at one point, Alana wasn't gonna come out because she had kind of like a previous commitment. So then Matt messaged her and was like, I'm proposing, like, please don't bail, you need to come. But Christy, let's, let's just say Christy was the only one really holding it down here from the get go. She was like, yeah, I'm in. And she stayed in the whole time. So Christy, thank you. So we planned this whole weekend getaway and I really don't have any suspicions yet at this point because I'm just like, a forest, a weekend in the forest, I'll take it. So we had booked this whole thing. And then at one point Matt was texting and he looked like so, you know when people are like texting and then there's people that are texting and they have like something happening in that text message that you're like, I need to know what the fuck you're texting about. Basically Matt was texting his friend Sasha and I was like, what are you guys talking about? And he was like, nothing, nothing. And I was like, what is it? Cause I'm like, you look like giddy. Like just tell me what you're texting about. And he was like, I'm just planning a surprise for you. And I was like, what kind of surprise? He was like, please don't do this. Like, don't bring it up. Let's not talk about it. Like, I shouldn't have said that, blah, 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 whatever. And I was like, fine. Well, I wasn't really like, fine. I was like, tell me what the fuck the surprise is. Then like a week before the trip, I'm at lunch with Alana and she asked me if I want to get my nails done with her. First of all, I was like, of course. <laughs> but in the back of my mind, I was like, hmm, that's so weird. Alana really doesn't get her nails done. I forgot to say that the whole reason I was suspicious about Alana asking me to get my nails done is because I've always said to Matt, if he's ever gonna propose to me, like he better make sure I have a fresh set of nails because I wanna be able to take photos with a ring and such and so forth. So anyways, on with the story. But I was like, okay, whatever, sure. Let's book this nail appointment. We book the nail appointment, we go into that. And then fast forward to the Sunday before the trip. I'm gonna fill in my brows with Glossier Boy Brow. So every single Sunday, me and Matt go to my parents' house for dinner. And usually I go downtown afterwards to watch this like improv comedy show. Um, so I usually bring my own car and Matt usually brings his own car. So basically every Sunday for a year and a half, that's what we've been doing. And every Sunday for a year and a half, Matt is the first person to get up from the table and be like, all right, great, thanks for dinner, let's go home. <laughs> so on this particular Sunday, I got up first and I was like, hey, I gotta go, I'm gonna head downtown so that I'm there on time for improv. And Matt stays seated and he's like, oh, I'm just gonna hang out for a few minutes. And I was like, I'm sorry? 
you are going to stay here as in not go home? Okay, mm, something fishy's going on here. So I'm driving downtown, which is like a minimum 30 minute drive from our house. And now my gears are turning because I'm like, there was a surprise planned. Alana asked me to do my nails with her, which she never does. And now Matt's staying at my parents' house. And I was like, he's proposing. He's proposing to me, I'm gonna be a wife. I'm going to be a wife because he's proposing to me because he would never stay at my parents' house after dinner. So basically, this is how my mind works. When I have a hunch about something, my mind connects every word you've spoken, every action you've taken over the past like four years. And I'm like, this happened. And then he said this, and then this happened. And then this happened. And then Alana looked at me like this. And then this happened. And then Jamie made this comment on FaceTime and blah. And I start connecting like all these dots. And I'm like, he's proposing. Like it's for sure, without a doubt, like this is happening. And I'm connecting all these dots and I get to improv. And as soon as Alana gets there, poor sweet Alana, I rest my face on her knees like this. And I was like, Alana, would you purposely mislead me under the right circumstances? And she was like, uh, um, no. And I was like, why'd you ask me to get my nails done with you? And she was like, I just need my nails done. And I was like, I think Matt's proposing. And I started telling her all these dots that I've connected, which normally if your friend didn't know, they'd be like, holy shit, he's proposing for sure. But she was like, no, maybe like wants to hang out with your parents you know maybe it's just like lonely and I was like Alana literally everything else that I've mentioned could have not happened just him staying at my parents house is enough for me to be like yes this is definitely happening because it's so unlike him and so the only thing in my mind that could have been happening there was him asking for my parents permission so I was literally like sick to my stomach like nervous poops through the roof. Like I pooped twice while you're at improv. It's like a two hour show. I pooped twice. That's like borderline unhealthy amounts of nervous poops. But I just like, I couldn't stop thinking about it. Like I couldn't get it off my mind because I was like, this is happening for sure. I'm gonna use the Mac and Patrick Star I'm Not Blushing Powder Blush Duo. And I'm gonna use the little uh, bronzer part here to contour. So Jamie gets there, we carry on with a week and then we head out to the island. So to get to the island, you have to take a ferry. And Matt kept asking me to like go on walks alone on the ferry. And every single time I was like, why? Why do you want to go alone? Does anyone want to come to witness this? He was like, let's go onto like the balcony of the ferry. And I was like, it's happening, it's happening. Every time I would get so fucking nervous, I would feel like I needed to poop. And I'd be like, holy shit, like this is the moment. I am no longer a single free woman. But it kept just like not happening. And the whole weekend, like every time he asked me to do something, I'd be like, ah, oh God, okay, let's go. And then like, it wouldn't happen. And I'd be like, fuck's sake. And then at one point I was like, maybe this isn't happening. Like maybe I'm really overthinking this. Although in the back of my mind, I was like, no bitch, you ain't, you know what's going on because I know what's going on. I cannot be duped. You can't pull the wool over my eyes. So the first day goes by, we have a great day. It's super hot. We're like paddle boarding. We're just hanging out by the lake and tanning. And, and at this point, I'm kind of just like, you know what? Like I need to just chill out. I need to just enjoy this weekend with like all my friends. And if it happens, it happens. If it doesn't, then like whatever, right? So at this point, I've kind of just tried to like put it on my mind. So the next day we went to go grab groceries and it was me, Sasha and Danielle and Jamie. Matt was like, I'm not gonna come get groceries. I'm feeling kind of hungover. And I was like, no worries. I didn't think anything of it because I was like, Matt never wants to come get groceries. <laughs> I'm gonna use a little bit of the blush from in that palette as well, just a touch. And then I'm gonna go over top of that blush with the NARS Orgasm Illuminating Loose Powder. So I'm just picking up a little bit of that on a highlighting brush and tapping off the excess. So it's just like a kind of sheer wash of glow. So before we had left to go get groceries, we were hanging out with the owner of the Airbnb because he was like, oh, I'll take you on a boat ride around the lake and show you guys around and stuff. And he was wearing like this gray shirt with black pants. So when we got back from the grocery store, I could see the dock. Like there was like the house and then like this long walkway and the dock and I could see the dock and I thought that it was the owner cleaning up after us on the dock. And I was like, oh fuck, that's so embarrassing because he had asked us explicitly to like put all the kayaks and paddle boards away so they don't like blow into the water. And I was like, fuck, that's so embarrassing. This guy's cleaning up after us. So Alana walked out I thought to like help with the groceries and stuff and I was like Alana is that the owner on the dock like cleaning up after us and she was like Matt wants to see you on the dock and I was like oh god this is actually the moment <laughs> and I went into the house and nobody was in there and I was like oh god oh god 
everyone's in their positions. And then Dan, Alana's boyfriend, was like sitting on the balcony and he would not make eye contact with me. And I just saw Matt standing on the dock with all these like tea lights and a heart around him. And this <laughs> was truly the longest walk of my life. Basically to get down to the dock from the house, you have to like walk onto the balcony, down these steps, down this cement walkway, and then there's this long ass fucking dock, and Matt was like at the very end of it. It literally makes my hands shake just thinking about this moment because I was so fucking nervous. So I'm like bounding down this walkway because I'm like, let's get this shit over with. I'm gonna use the Anastasia Dream Palette. I think I'm gonna use the color Wish right there. So anyway, I'm making my way down this fucking marathon like a gazelle. Matt proposed, obviously. He proposed and said his little spiel, and then he was like, this is a heart, <laughs> referring to the tea light heart that we were standing in, and I was like, yeah. Yeah, I caught that on my like 40 mile walk down here, <laughs> thank you. So it was a really cool moment. He proposed, we turned around, everyone was on the balcony and they all cheered and clapped. And then they walked down, Alana and Dan had brought like mini champagne bottles. We all had champagne. And then we just spent the rest of the weekend kind of hanging out and relaxing. And it was just, it was a really, really great time. So well done, Matt, it was perfect. So anyways, that's the story of how I am a number one sleuth detective. Let's move on to eyes. I don't know how I'm feeling about this skin. The foundation is beautiful. I'm loving it. I like that it's not creasing at all and it has like really, really good coverage. Wow, I'm really impressed actually. I don't know. I feel like powder highlight looks really shitty on me, but you tell me. I'm gonna be using the Huda Beauty Rose Gold Remastered Palette uh, for part of my eyeballs. I'm gonna take the color Sandalwood first and I'm gonna be blending that out with a Smith 232 brush. I'm assuming this palette is supposed to have a better formulation. I don't, I don't know for sure. I love that loose, where is it? The loose NARS Orgasm, by the way. Fuck, this is good. I never really loved the NARS Orgasm blush because I felt like it's a little bit too like, fuchsia-y almost, like the pink portion of the blush pulls really cool toned, I find. So I never really loved it. I felt like it looked too intense on my face, but this is beautiful. Like this is everything I wanted orgasm to be. I'm loving it. Anyways, back to the eyes. I'm just blending out that sandalwood color. So yeah, that was basically the weekend and the proposal and all. It's funny because I've heard from so many people that like, marriage isn't any different and being engaged isn't any different and all this kind of stuff. And I kind of, thought that I would agree with that because like Matt and I have lived together for the majority of our relationship and we own a house together and all that kind of stuff. But I literally feel like a completely different person since we got engaged three days ago. It's been longer, it's been just over a week. But I, I feel so much more secure. I feel so much more relaxed. I feel so much more confident in our relationship. Next, I'm gonna take the color Henna on a Smith 230 brush. And it wasn't even like I wasn't confident before, so to speak. It was just more so that like, I've never really taken these like steps in relationships as a, as a signal of commitment, basically. Like moving in together, I was like, yeah, it's a big deal and it, it makes a difference in the relationship. But to me, I was like, that's just what makes sense. Especially when you're living in a city like Vancouver that's so expensive. Why would two people pay exorbitant amounts for rent when they're spending all their time together anyways? Cause usually like when you're at that point in the relationship, you guys are sleeping over at each other's houses constantly if you're living in sin. <clears throat> but you're just spending all your time at one or the other person's house or both people's houses. So to me, I'm like, that's just just logic to move in together. So I never saw that as like some huge step where I was like, oh, now we're committed. I was just like, yeah, this is what makes sense. So we're not paying $3,000 each for rent. I'm just taking this color kind of in the outer corner in the crease to build up a little bit of a gradient. And then even when we bought the house, it didn't feel like this crazy commitment to me. It was kind of just like the house came up so quickly as an opportunity and we took it so that we would be in the market because the Vancouver housing market is so brutal that it's kind of like, if you get a chance to get in easily, you might as well take it. I'm just taking a little bit more of that first color on a big brush to kind of blend these two together. And then I'm gonna take that same color henna underneath my lower lash line, just with a pencil brush. So yeah, to me, it just kind of felt like this moment was something where I was like, holy shit, like this is actually like, we're committed now. And I think that it's also really nice because as I'm sure you guys are all aware by now. I've just been dealing with this bout of depression. And one of the biggest things that kind of weighs me down 
is the idea that like, I don't really know what's going on in my life. I feel like I don't have like a plan and I don't have anything to look forward to and that like nothing in my life is for sure or secure or anything like that. And it's just been really nice feeling like this is one thing that I almost like don't have to worry about. Like it's happening, it's real. I don't have to hum and haw about it and be like, oh, is like this relationship gonna be the one kind of thing. It's just really nice to feel like that's almost like dealt with and out of the way. And it's just something that I can feel really calm and secure about. I don't know, it's just been a really nice feeling for me. I'm gonna be using this eyeshadow from Dose of Colors. It is the Block Party eyeshadow in the color Sizzle. These are like new eyeshadows that she came out with. They are a really different texture. They're very, very creamy. They almost feel kind of wet. I'm gonna try and apply it with a brush first, but I have an inkling that I might have to apply it with my fingers. So I'm gonna use my Hakuhodo J242 brush. Oh, what if this stains my brush? Okay, it's fine. Okay, I'm just loading that up on my little brush and I, oh yeah, I should use my finger. Oh God, okay. So I'm gonna load that up on my finger instead and just kind of swipe it across. Oh yeah, there we go. This looks like it is loaded with almost like a silver or possibly like kind of lavender pearl, which gives it the appearance of almost being like kind of wet and glossy looking. So I just put that down with my finger first and now I am using the leftover product on the brush to kind of blend out the edges. I feel like I'm getting a little bit of fallout all over the place. So I would recommend really, really pushing that product into the brush so that you're not getting as many loose particles. The thing that's kind of nice about a creamier formula like this is that you can actually wipe the excess product off the brush when you're going to blend out because it does retain a little bit of that creaminess so you don't need excess product to help blend. You can kind of just use what's on that brush and it almost blends out more like a cream shadow. So just to show you guys, I just wiped that finger off with a makeup wipe and it did stain a little bit, which is why I was worried about it staining my brushes because when I was swatching them, I could tell that my fingers were starting to stain. It could just be the pigment itself, but it could also be what it's being pressed with. So just be wary of that if you don't like products that stain. I think I'm gonna go over top with this color from the Rose Gold palette. It is the color Rose Gold. And I'm just gonna take the same brush and I'm going to bring that right down the center of the lid. I just wanted this to look a little bit more corally rather than a more blue-based red. I do definitely feel like whatever they did to reformulate this palette, it's way better than the first one. I liked the concept of the first rose gold palette, but the formulation was brutal. I'm gonna take a little bit of the color bubbly over here and I'm going to just bring that right into my inner corner. Just as a little bit of shimmer. Wow, I way prefer the formulation of this. The mattes seem a lot less dry, like they seem a lot easier to kind of blend out. And the metallic formulation is a lot less crumbly. Like it's really a lot more creamy feeling. So I find that I'm also not getting as much fallout with this palette as I did with the uh, first release. I'm gonna grab a little bit of the color Cocoa on my angle brush. And I'm just gonna concentrate that on my outer lash line in lieu of a uh, winged eyeliner. Next, I'm just gonna pop on my lashes and mascara and then I'm gonna put on a quick lip and I'll show you guys the finished look. Okay, for lips, I think I'm gonna apply the NARS Afterglow Lip Balm, also in orgasm. Oh, I wanted that to smell like vanilla. I've tried this one out already. I really like the texture of it. It is very sheer. It's really good for me personally because I don't have a ton of pigmentation to my lips. That's a swatch of it there. Um, so it does almost look completely like a gloss. I do find that it adds just like a touch of tint, but if you were somebody that had more pigmented lips naturally, you might find this a little bit too uh, sheer for you. Then just for a little bit of extra gloss, I'm gonna go over top uh, with this Charlotte Tilbury Refresh Rose Lip Gloss. The applicator doe foot thing is shaped like a heart. I don't know if that's gonna focus but it's, it makes me uncomfortable. I don't know why. I also don't like that this is scented like mint because mint makes my tummy hurt. Fun fact. Ooh, but the formulation is beautiful. It's very glossy, very plush, and it's not sticky at all. Like it just feels like water. It's super nice. All right, you guys. So that is everything for me today. Thank you so much for hanging out and chatting. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you learned something cool. Everything that I mentioned today will be in the description box below for your convenience. All right, you guys. I'll see you next time. Peace out.